So when you spend $22,000 on a new engine, do you get a free t-shirt? So what does this actually cost and what do you get when you buy a new engine? What comes with it and what are the details? Hey, Ted Greenfield, Over 50 and Learning to Fly, and welcome to the world headquarters of Over 50 and Learning to Fly. So once this decision was made to go back to an 0320, then the next question was, where do I get the engine? There are many places that you can buy an engine. You could buy an engine on eBay. You can buy an engine from some guy selling it online. You could go around to an engine shop and find one. You could buy an engine from a myriad of different places. However, you have to look at this from the standpoint of what do you need and what requirements do you need, the buyer of the engine, what do you have to have? The number one requirement I needed was a warranty. Anything you buy over several thousand dollars needs a warranty and the engine is a pretty big ticket item and I need to buy it from a reputable company that will stand behind their work. That was the one priority that I really wanted. So this requirement alone limits it down to a handful of companies and it came down to two companies and the cost difference was only about a thousand dollars. However, what was the decision tipping point for me was the lead time and that's what drew me to the final decision. One engine shop in Ohio gave me a fantastic price. Their customer service was absolutely amazing and they had a fantastic warranty and they were really delightful and helpful to deal with over the phone. And I can tell from dealing with these guys that the process would be good, it would be honest, and it would be smooth. However, the one sticking point was the lead time, and it was seven weeks out. And just being conscious of reality, you have to add a couple weeks on to that. So I really wouldn't get my airplane back in the air for another three months, and I just didn't want to deal with that. That was just too long. So I decided to go with Airmark Overhaul engines out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida and their price was actually $1,000 more, but the lead time was really attractive and the lead time was only five weeks. They were simply amazing to deal with over the phone. They gave me a written quote and they spelled out every little last detail. I probably called them about 20 times to ask every question I could, every question that possibly came to mind and every question I could think of. And they were really delightful to talk to over the phone. They kind of walked me through and handheld me through this entire process. And that's really, that, that really gave me a lot of peace of mind. What you primarily need in this situation is good customer service. And Airmark was simply amazing at this. So here is the actual quote they gave me. And everything is spelled out down to the last detail. This really made me feel comfortable and gave me a ton, a huge peace of mind with this. So what do you get when you buy a new engine and what does it actually cost? So the price out the door with an exchange of my old engine was $22,550. This came with new Lycoming cylinders from the factory. It came with new magnetos, new magneto harness, new spark plugs, new spark plug wires, a new carburetor and a new starter. And the best part was that it came with a one year or 480 hour warranty and a limited two year warranty after that. So this is fantastic customer service. Also, the parts are guaranteed for six months or 240 hours and it was, it was just kind of a no brainer. This is a really reputable company that is gonna be around for a while, so I know I'd have no problem dealing with this if anything went wrong. So, I had to make a deposit of $12,000, which they actually asked me to wire over, and I thought that was kind of odd. Usually you can just put it on a credit card and reap the benefits of miles or something like that, but I guess they have had some problems with fraud in the past, and I understand that. Um, so you do need $12,000 cash up front to get it and I wired the money over, and the best part is once they receive that wire transfer over, the clock starts ticking and your engine is five weeks away. Adding some reality time in there, six, seven weeks is manageable. So the clock started yesterday or the day before, and I will be dropping my new engine off as the core exchange next week. So at the same time, my prop's been removed and I'm getting my prop overhauled, 
and the engine monitor was purchased a few days ago, so that is actually being programmed and it's due to be delivered in four weeks. So it should all come together at the same time, which let's pray it does. So anyway, this is a quick one. I hope you learned something about the costs and I hope this helped you. And again, if you are over 50, I'm not even gonna tell you what to do.